So here I am leading out Cyrus. He doesn't really want to go out because it's muddy, but he decides eventually to come out. Uh, during the day, I just let him out for about 30 minutes to just run around and play while I um, clean up his stall. So enjoy him running around. This is his first introduction to uh, the paint horse and the bay horse outside. So they have a little talk. While Cyrus is outside, I clean his stall and uh, I just use a pitchfork and a broom. So uh, this stall is getting a complete muck out today because he's a dirty boy and he lives like a slob. So here we go. There's Cyrus over there, he's trying to get into the gate. He wants to come inside his stall. I always like to sweep the stalls because it gets uh, the uh, extra stuff out, you know, gets it really, really clean. And we're done. So, always good to use nice clean bedding in a stall. I should have brought a knife that time. <laughs> I just call like this, when fast motion it looks like I'm doing a funny little dance. Thank you.
After I am done uh, cleaning his stall, I bring Cyrus in and take off his exercise boots, and, um, and then I start grooming him. Uh, I just recently started uh, to braid his hair. Yeah, he's trying to get me a little bit, that's why I put my hand up. So here I'm coming in with a detangler. It's a really nice detangler. So I'm taking out his braids first, um, get them all cleaned up. And I grab the detangler and put about a quarter size amount in my hand and put it off to the side and then spread it all through his mane. Just finished combing up his mane and looks very nice. Well, now that it's combed, you can kind of see the breakage in the mane from uh, his tangled mess that he had before he came here. So I uh, start to braid his mane. I um, go real loose on the top and then uh, slowly get tighter as I go down. And it doesn't have to be really perfect or anything. The important thing about braiding is that you just make it loose on the top so it doesn't pull constantly and then that'll cause extra hair loss. So now that I'm done, I just, I always love to pet him. And I'm gonna grab the detangler again and put just a little bit more in my hand than before and put it in his tail. Here I'm gonna let him know that I'm still there because he kind of forgot, kind of jumped when I pet him. Grab his tail and start putting the detangler in. brush it out and then I uh, start to braid it. And again you want to always have it loose on the top just so it doesn't pull on the tail bone. Then um, I wrap, I bring it through a little loop and loop it around. Um, to put it in a tail bag. And what I use for tail bag is just old socks. Um, so you just put it around the little loop there and then you tie it in a double knot. I kind of take forever to tie this knot. I don't know why it's so hard, but 
this time it was very hard. I'm gonna grab my curry comb and brushes and start to curry him. He rolled in the mud uh, out there, so he's quite dirty. So here I'm using a pumice stone. It's, uh, it grabs the hair and the dirt, and uh, it works really well because he's quite a dirty boy. Um, you know, I'm just there's some urine stains on the side of his haunches there. So here is a close up of it. You know, just bought it at three dollars at Tractor Supply, I think. And then I grab his blanket. It's a heavyweight blanket because it was 14 degrees that day. So uh, it's quite dirty. And then I just put it on because it's a struggle because he's a big boy. And now, time to put him back in his stall. Okay, I'm gonna go to the stall number. Okay. Wait. Wait. Right now. Would you see the camera? What is it? Hi, Grandma, you ready for your snack? 